So a few have asked for a hair tutorial about the thing that I do with the three buns. So here it is. Um, the best thing that I find to start with is really greasy hair. <laughs> hair that you sort of uh, had in a ponytail and it's kind of greasy and it's got lots, just lots of texture. You haven't put a brush, brush through it. That's the best kind. So, um, take your hair and section it off into three pieces. You're going to need lots of bobby pins for this. So, three pieces. And start with the back piece right here. It's usually easiest to start with that back piece. And you really just kind of twist it. I don't know if you can see. Twist it into one of those like loose buns we all did for ballet or something like that. And just, as it's loose, take a bobby pin. And secure it in place. It usually takes depending on your hair, um, two, three, maybe four bobby pins to secure each one. And so that's the first one. Then you take one side, doesn't matter which one you start first. Oh, and leave it a little section free, whether it's your bangs or longer layers at the front, because you deal with that at the end. Um, so yeah, take this section and just sort of gently away from your head just away from your head, gently start twisting it, and then move it into place, kind of like, not quite behind your ear, but up above, you well, you see, above the nape of your neck and sort of diagonally from your ear. And then you twist it and roll it and take this piece that you don't want sticking out and tuck it in behind. You tuck that in behind. Like that. And again. Take a bobby pin and secure. Notice I'm not using any styling products. I don't really use styling products, but um, if your hair is clean or uh, it has a really fine texture, you might want to use a little volumizing spray or texturizing lotion. So yeah, that's the one. And you see, since I did it loosely, it creates that little bit of a sweet that I really like. It kind of makes me feel a little retro. So then you do that with the other side. You gently roll away from your head and then twirl into place. Like I said, tuck in those that ends, those ends, because you want to create a nice little circle. There it is. Oh, my bobby pins are twisting. So there you go. You see it? And just sort of pat it down, see if there's any strays sticking out. Like, I've got a little bit of a stray that's kind of bugging me right here. So I'm going to use a bobby pin to shake your head around. You know, because you want this to, to last for a few hours. I usually uh, have this during the day when I'm going off to work or running around the house with with baby, so I don't want my hair to be an issue. Got, got some stubborn stubborn ends sticking out right here. I'm trying to take care of that. Okay. So that's the main part of it. So you see kind of simple. Like I said, I use this hairstyle when I really don't want to do anything. And now you take the front section and you could do a lot of things with it actually. You could do sort of just like a big swoop, side sweep thing. Um, since I do usually do this when my hair's a little greasy, I want it off my face. So what I do is just gather it and I use these nifty little mini bobby pins. They're like half the length of regular bobby pins. And I just do a little sweep and secure in place right there. Um, sometimes, sometimes I'll use two just so it's it looks nice. And that's the main thing of it. Now, again, if you want to get all fancy today, I'm going to put a flower in my hair um, to match my dress. So, flower in your hair. 
I like to hide the bobby pins, like I don't like the pins showing from the flowers. So I'm just going to shove the bobby pin with the flower right there. Ta-da! It took you, what, three minutes? And you have a hairstyle for the rest of the day. Thanks for reading. See you later.